waiting to see if he goes live. Because, oh, there it is. Ha! Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the things that sold, not this past week, because I didn't realize how long it had been since I'd done a sales update. And I like to do it every week, and it's been like a few weeks. So this is for the week of November 19th to November 25th. It's a little wonky week. But I started like, I was like, oh, I'll just do all my sales and share all my sales on eBay and Etsy with you. And it's been a really nice three weeks. And so I realized if I do that, I'd be on for like an hour and a half. And that's a good thing because I've had a lot of sales, but it's a bad thing because it's a really long video. So <laughs> hello, if you're new here, my name is Margaret. I am a homeschooling mom who helps support my family. One of the ways by selling on eBay and Etsy things that I find at garage sales and estate sales and thrift stores and places like that. And I haven't been on in a few days or put up a new, I put one up finally yesterday, but I haven't put up a video because I've just been, I don't know if sick or, or what, allergies? I don't know. And it's not totally gone. So I've got some Ricola and um, I hate to do that, but my, I'm, oh. and if I have to make any gross noises, as you might when you're not feeling 100%. Oh, I'll we'll do my best to mute it in case that happens. Um, and <laughs> if you're here live, say hi in the chat. Hello, everybody in the chat. And um, I will answer questions going along if it's pertaining to what we're doing. If not, I'll save it till the end <clears throat> and answer them then. I feel like there was something else I was going to say. <sighs> I can't think of what it was. Okay, but I hope you're doing well, everybody. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I have to like br try to breathe. I got this Ricola trying to clear me out and everything. Okay, here we go. All right, so I did really well the week of November 19th to 25th. Was that the week of, I've got my calendar here. Was that the week of Thanksgiving or no? 19th to 25th. Oh, I'm looking at October. Look how smart I am. It might help to look at the right month. Oh my gosh, my my calendar is not cooperating with me. So that was the week before, before Thanksgiving. So hey, that was pretty good. And I had a number of sales. And what did I put? I made about six hundred bucks. I think it was five hundred ninety nine. So um, it was really good. So let's talk about what I sold on eBay and Etsy, and what I picked them up for, and why I picked them up, and all that fun stuff. Pardon me again. It's just going to be like that. I'm going to do my best not to cough in your face, though. I went back and was watching one of the videos, I, one of the last lives I did, and I was coughing so much. I was like, oh, I just can't do that. Okay, so these are a pair of cufflinks that I've had for a while. I like selling men's accessories, um, but I haven't been listing as many as I have. I have a ton more I need to list, but um, I've had them up so long that I don't even have my inventory note on here. So I have, I probably get them, got them for about a dollar. They probably came in a lot and they sold for $15.99. Actually, let me make sure because I've got my, sometimes on eBay, if I take a best offer or something, it doesn't always show it up right there. So yeah, that's right. $15.99. Oh, Steven says you sound better. Ricola should consider sponsoring your live streams. You know what? If they saw my pre-show getting ready, they would definitely be a game. <laughs> I was actually considering, you know, I talked to you guys about uh, my, this is off topic for, for a minute, but you know, when I go live and I, and I frequently will tell you guys before I go live, I do things to like cheer myself up or be silly or things like that. And, um, I think, I, tell me what you think. I feel like I should start recording that and just like put them all together in one video because it's a lot of silliness. And I sometimes I feel like you might like it. And sometimes I feel like you might not. <laughs> but, but anyway, I was really, you know, I was talking like Ricola, you know. I need to get my Ricola, Ricola. All right, next up whatever. <laughs> Just nonsense, basically. All right. So this is a Barbara Lavalie, and I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, Inuit mother and daughter um, art. And the reason I picked this up is because I recognized, did I get a close up of that pin? It's basically a pin. There it is. On the, on this, 
you know, it's framed. But I wanted to point this out that I frequently see you, the style is very distinctive. And um, if you find that sometimes it's, you know, like a fabric or on a mug or other things, it can do fairly well. So if you see it, it's that kind of style of artwork. And I sold this framed little pin for $15. And let's see what I picked it up for. I paid $4 for it, that, which is a lot for me, if you know me. Um, you know, I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on stuff, but I think I liked it enough and I took a chance on it because I really, you know, like that artist. So that's what I did for that one. Okay, next item I sold, I got this mug with Clarabelle the cow and uh, I really, I was surprised, I was surprised and not surprised at how fast it sold. I was surprised because I had somehow convinced myself that it uh, was going to take a while. But then you start reminding yourself when it's an unusual character that you don't see a lot. Like you see a million billion Mickey Mouse mugs, right? Well, maybe not a million billion, but maybe just like half a million. Um, but when you see characters that you don't see frequently then these are, you know, could be more highly sought after because the market for that, for Clarabelle, for example, is not saturated. There's not a whole, whole lot out there. So if somebody's like, oh, Clarabelle is my jam, then they're going to want to buy Clarabelle, right? So I pay ADP in, in Margaret code stands for 80 cents and I get my P from the Brits. Thanks for their pence. Um, so Clarabelle cow sold for, did I skip something? Nope, there it is. Ah, she sold for $19.99. So that's a really good return on investment for 80 cents. So probably after shipping and fees and everything, um, probably at least a $15 profit there, which is pretty good. Mug life. Go ver Gary V. You didn't invent it. But that's cool, man. <laughs> I do like Gary V. Um, he's super intense though. My gosh. Do you follow him on Instagram? I mean, he's got good stuff, but whoo, he's intense. All right, so next up, where did I get this Pampered Chef? This is a Pampered Chef garlic press, and I just have to say, if I didn't already have one, I would have kept it, because I have the same exact garlic press, so when I saw that, I was like, ooh, yes, I am definitely picking that up. It was new, still sealed in the cellophane, and um, I picked it up at a garage sale for a dollar, right there, 1D. And it's sold, I think it's sold for the asking price. Yep, $24.99. So it sold for $25. So again, probably after fees and everything, it was still a good $20 profit for this garlic press. So Pampered Chef stuff, there, there are people that really like it. So if it's still like new-ish, then it might be worth you looking at or cheap-ish. <laughs> Either way. <clears throat> Ooh, Bailey says, just picked up a Pampered Chef pitcher today. Sweet. Let's see, Bailey also said, is this the week of Black Friday where you made six? No, it's the week before. I think the 20, this is from the 19th of November to the 25th. And I think the 25th may have been the Monday of the week of um, Thanksgiving. I was trying to chunk it out. So I am, because I, I have probably tomorrow I'll do the next set and then the next, because I'll I have them all ready to go. So um, I can get caught up. Okay, so next, remember when I got this? This I think I just recently shared in my video where I was talking about um, selling animals. I know I call the video Reseller Secrets. Shh, it's not a secret, but it's, you know, a catchy title. Anyway, animals are things I like to pick up, especially unusual animals. Um, it's unusual. It's a unique piece. That was a whole my whole thing. It was well made, yes. Um, so this is a boot jack. Welcome to Texas. Um, it's an armadillo boot jack, and uh, I think I got this at a, I, I didn't know what I bought it for. I think I got this at a garage sale, if I'm not mistaken, for a couple bucks. We'll say three, probably. Um, but what did I sell it for? It, it sold for $32. So this armadillo boot jack sold for $32. I, I doubt I paid more than five bucks for it. Did I get this in the bins? I need to go back and watch some of my haul videos. I, I don't know why I didn't mark where I got it or how much I paid for it. Hi, everybody. I see you in the chat. I'm going to come talk in the chat in a second. So, yeah, $32. And um, I've sold a number of boot jacks. I don't see them very often, but when I, when I do pick them up or when I do see them, I generally pick them up. I had a naughty one once. It was like a lady with her legs 
red and uh, I had like a bull one once anyway okay so this part of me is a Lego Rapunzel um, set that I got new and I think I got this on clearance somewhere this is another thing I don't think I put and I've had it for a while this was back when when my kids were younger and we would go to lots of birthday parties all the time and we had like a stash of toys so whenever I'd go to like garage sales or I'd see things on clearance I would pick things up really cheap and throw it in the box if it was new and sealed and like just in case it would come in handy when we had like a million and one birthday parties that month to go to so just one day I was digging through the tub of birthday party toys that we had and I was like huh you know I'm, I'm gonna look this up I just you know started looking up some of the I think I got it on clearance somewhere and um I realized I'm sorry I'm gonna open this next Ricola I uh looked it up and it was selling for crazy money like well over a hundred bucks because it was discontinued and there's not a whole lot of um Rapunzel what was this one tangled um there's not a whole lot of those sets so which is another sort of you know is it in it's a hot commodity right so I probably I doubt I paid more than five bucks for it either at a garage sale or on Ver Ver if you heard of garage sale like a local garage sale um I just would pick up stuff cheap whenever I saw it for birthday parties. Anyway, it sold for, where did it go? $81.59. Random. <clears throat> but I have it set where my eBay will automatically accept offers above a certain amount or reject below. So they may have, may have put in a weird amount just to see if I would take it. There you go. Um looking in the chat real fast if you're here watching how many friends do I have watching let's see 53 friends go over there and hit that thumbs up everybody all right let's take a peek at what we've got next and if you're watching live say hi in the chat because that's cool so there um, all right next up is this um like turquoise panel bracelet it was really nice and I think it came in that $500 lot I didn't put that on here um, I think that's where I got it. It's weird that I don't have it labeled, but oh well. So what did this one sell for? Where am I here? eBay. This one sold for $30.39. Again, a weird amount, but they probably, you know, sent me an offer of this amount. And that's why it came out that way. So that's a good profit on that bracelet. $30.39. All right, this one I got, I think in the bins. Let's see. Yep. I put one dollar in slash B. It means that you know it's probably less than a dollar, and um, because I got it in the bins, and there's no way that this weighed that much. So, hi, hi, everybody. Um, and then this sold for seven ninety nine. So it's not a huge profit, but I probably paid, I don't know, fifty cents for it maybe in the bins because it's super light. It was just a glasses case. So you know maybe a five dollar profit on that. That's fine. Y'all, this was, this was one of those things that was so weird and so funky and I really liked it. And I was, if, if it wasn't personalized, I would have listed it for more. And perhaps I did myself a disservice by not just listing it for more because it sold fairly quickly. It's a shot glass and the inside of the glass is glazed. The outside is not glazed. And then, it, but it's, it's personalized to Brian and Amanda, uh, 12, 4, 10. Maybe they broke up. I don't know. But it was so funky, right? I was just like, dude, this is so, I love it. His little face. And it was just this little shot glass with a funky face on it. Um, but I paid, I paid $2 for that. Okay. And it sold for, where did it go? I'm looking over here. It sold for 10 bucks. So, meh. And maybe it didn't do as well as I thought it would, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay, so these are some coasters I got, some vintage Save the Olive coasters. And I picked them up for a buck, and they ended up selling for $7.99. So, not a huge profit, but everything adds up. All right, these 
I got at that Goodwill that I've only been to once. It's kind of a new, newer one in my area. And I paid up for these. I think I paid like 12 bucks. Yeah, because they were six bucks each. And I remember showing them to you guys and asking, should I lot them together or should I sell them individually? Well, I decided to lot them together. And what they are, they're like those iron stamps for metalworking or woodworking or whatever. And they they sold for $50. So, I mean, it was a $12 purchase. But still, I mean, it's a good, probably 30 bucks or so profit. If I'm doing my math in my head right. So, there's that. Okay, next, another mug. Yay! Um, we've got this little gnome mug. And this one I picked up for $0.89. Cents. I think that may have been at that same Goodwill. Because I was like, you're crazy. These The mug prices are finally normal. Um, or what I would like for them to be anyway. Look at his little face. That's a hair, right? Not a chip. Okay, good. <laughs> anyway, I was like, please tell me I didn't miss a giant chip in the middle of his forehead. So he sold for 80, no, no, I bought him for 89 cents. He sold for $11.99. There he is. Yay. All right, next, we've got that metal crane that I um, picked up recently. And I got him for $2. I think this one I also got at Goodwill. Two bucks. And it sold for $25. I think I shared this one in my animal video as well. So 25 bucks sold on that. So I don't know, 17 to $20 profit on that. All right. And then I had a few, a few Etsy sales, um, recently. So this, <laughs> I laugh and I will tell you why. <laughs> um, so this sold and I, I like selling these. I have actually have a big tub of these. I need to list down here and I picked it up for a buck. And it sold for, where did it go? Hang on, this thing over here always. Etsy's got their, every time I tell you that, every Etsy's got it all messed up. So it's over 25 bucks. Here's the laughing part. My laughing part is that I think it's going to be coming back. The lady messaged me and said, there's a peg missing. And I'm not one that, I'm not really going to argue I will take the re return, whatever. But in my mind, I'm thinking, no, there's not. <laughs> because these pegs are nailed into this thing. And when I boxed it up, I would have noticed. Because if the peg was not on there, because I have one over here that the peg is gone off of. Then those little panel pieces in between they like flop around, right? So I would have noticed if this like thing was like flopping around when I'm trying to box it up. <laughs> you bought this from me? Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> Is it really broken? <laughs> Has it come back to me yet? Maybe it's a different one. Anyway, I don't know. I'm like, how would it have been, how would it have been missing? <laughs> well, that's never happened before. So we'll see when it comes back because you would think if it was pulled apart I would have noticed but there you have it we'll find out all right anyway maybe it was a different one hoping oh <laughs> uh, well so next item that sold hang on oh good Bailey says I got a bamboo styled one ever since I've seen you pick these up I've been dying to get one. Oh yay I've got a number of them all right the next thing was this tie tack and this is a helicopter tie tack and i got this probably in a lot i've had it for a while because i don't have an inventory note on it and let's see where did i sell it for i'm looking i've got this all mixed up because i've got multiple videos that i'm going to be shooting on these solds 21 dollars 99 so probably paid a dollar or less for this and sold it for $21.99. That's pretty good. I like selling men's accessories. And this time of year, they seem to do pretty well. All right. Next up, we have this big stein that I got recently. I paid a dollar at a garage sale for it. And it, at first, I was like, oh, this is kind of a big one to ship. But it really wasn't that bad. I think I did a, I think I did a video. I think I put this in the mug shipping video or one of those. 
Um, but I paid about a dollar and it sold, give me your window, for $34.99. So that's a good, you know, at least mm, 27 to $30 profit. And this I got in the bins, right? Yeah. And this one, again, I put that 1D slash B down there for the price, but at my Goodwill outlet, all the glass items are 20 pieces for $2. So there's that. So it was probably like 10 cents. And it sold. This one actually sold fairly quickly. And I've never really gotten into selling frames. Where'd it go? There it is. So, ah, oh, goodness. $32.99. $32.99 for this frame. I need to be looking at frames a little bit more, especially if I can get them for 10 cents a piece at the bins. Right? 32 bucks. Yes. Alrighty. Well, then I think this is our last one for this week. And I'll come tomorrow and do the next week's. Look, these finally sold. Well, I say finally. I haven't had them that long. But these are those escargot dishes, right? And I spent, they were, what was it, $2 a piece at that charity shop. Hang on. Anyway, um, $10 a piece. No, not $10. $2 a piece. $10 for a lot of them. And they sold, I saw something in the chat and I have to come, up, come back and look in a second. For, no, that's not right. That was the shipping. They sold for $74.99. So $10 is a lot for me to pay up front, but they sold for about $75 for the lot of them. And the buyer also paid $20 shipping on that. So that was a lot for them to, to pay, but they did it. Yay. Um, so I don't know. That's a good, that's a good, really good profit there from $10 to 75 yeah, I have to pull out my eBay calculator to figure that one out. Oh, Gail said that the turquoise bracelet is what you got. I was like, oh gosh, here I am saying I don't think it's really broken. <laughs> um, anyway. <laughs> All right, so those were my sales that, um, that equaled out to about $600. And I paid, oh gosh, what is that? where's my thing? <laughs> I had my, um, I can't see the whole thing right now. I can't remember what I paid for everything because I can't go see where my title is. And I typed it in and I just forgot. So, yeah, let me know something that you sold recently or how your sales have been going this Q4. I have bursts, like, but then again, I'm not really, I haven't been listing while I've been sick. So, I've been prepping stuff. I don't know what it is. It's easier for me to prep this stuff than to take the picture sometimes when I'm sick. Maybe it's the lights. Like, oh, I don't want the light in my face. So, I've got a ton of stuff prepped. And I've been cleaning my workroom. It's very, well, half of it's very clean. The other half is still kind of a mess. But, cool. That's what I'm going to do this evening is take some more pictures. Got everything set up. It looks like a big giant piley mess over there. And I've cleared my other table off over there. And that tub still has more Star Wars stuff in it. Because if I could get that stuff photographed. Because I have a whole Ewok village in there. I need to go set the Ewok village up over on the table now that I've got space for it. And get that thing sold. Okay. Let me look in the chat and see if I missed anything. I'm so glad you guys came. <clears throat> I got only one of those. Wasn't sure if it's better. Oh, okay. Um... The, the, those thingy things um no i sell them individually yeah yeah okay i hope you guys enjoy this and i will probably be back tomorrow with um my next week's sales and then i don't know if i'll do boom 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 all in a row i might just because but i've got some other bins hauls ready like or prepped anyway um i did the 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 part where i had to anyway editing the part where I'm digging so that you don't see me like staring at my feet and stuff like that. So I got that part done. That's the, the hard part of the editing. Um, Cindy says, do you shut your eBay store down for Christmas? I don't because I'm not traveling. I think if I was traveling, I might, but, um, everybody's coming here. So nah, I'll keep it going. 
Do people say they do that? No, I don't think so. Because people still buy stuff or they might get an eBay gift certificate or I don't know. I keep, I keep it open unless I was traveling, then I will then I might close it, but I'll be here. I'll be around my inventory, my money piles. Alrighty, you guys, I'm going to go eat some more Ricola and hope for the best. And I hope you guys are having a great, great day. And if you're watching later, then definitely leave a comment and say hello. And let me know you came by. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. It's saying end, but it's not doing it every time. Bye.